Yeah, Mary, investigators say that female suspect came into the lobby of the FBI Seattle office armed with a 9mm semi-automatic pistol and kept it aimed at herself while demanding to speak with an FBI agent. New court documents detail why 42-year-old Chelsea Gray of Everett walked into the FBI Seattle office armed with a gun, shutting down the area for an hour as negotiators spoke with her. Court documents show the suspect in the front entrance of the lobby with the gun pointed at her chest and her finger at the trigger. She did tell law enforcement that there was one bullet in the chamber and if she had to use it, she would. Court documents state Gray claimed she was in possession of weapons of mass destruction codes and that she was willing to die to get her message out. The situation prompted a massive police response with onlookers from nearby office buildings watching as it all unfolded outside. There's cops with their guns drawn, they have everything blocked off, and they're saying drop the gun, get down. The police, they had like the bomb squad, all types of police over here. Investigators say during the hour-long standoff, Gray never pointed the gun at anyone else and told investigators she did not want to hurt anyone. She made no threats to anyone else. Obviously, when you're pointing a 9 millimeter at yourself and you're making statements afterwards that she was prepared to do what she needed to do, that it's a very alarming situation. Gray told investigators she was unable to contact anyone at the FBI or mail paperwork. So she decided that the only way to provide the information to the FBI was to get arrested. Court documents also state she considered bringing a fake bomb to the office, but did not want to threaten or hurt others. She is now facing a misdemeanor charge for bringing a gun into a federal building. And at this point, it's unclear if the suspect has any kind of history of mental health issues. If she's convicted of this crime, she faces up to a year in prison and a $100,000 fine. Reporting live in Seattle, Lynn Ann Wynn, Como News.